Hey everybody, what's going on? I am here on the Smith River. We are just north of Hayuchi. I'm hanging out with family. Is it nap time? It is? It's nap time. <laughs> and uh, we're, having, we're having a great time. Today, we are going to look at WeBoost. And uh, they're pretty much a standard in mobile cell boost technology. I have no reception right now. I'm gonna install that. We're gonna plug it in and we're gonna see if we have any bars at all. We're gonna see if it works here way up in Northern California in the Redwoods. All right, so let's take a look at it. We're gonna install it. I'll lay everything out on the tailgate so we can see the parts. The installation is gonna be fast. They're super easy. And then we'll see what it can do. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at the contents of the box. Uh, I've already opened it uh, one time and then I put everything back in. Um, instructions, of course, adhesive. That's probably for the antenna mount. We'll find out all about that. It's also got some Velcro in there. Okay, now the thing that is different about this generation of the WeBoost is the previous one required you to put the cell phone in a cradle. This broadcasts the boosted signal in the driver's area. So you don't have to actually have your phone in the, in the, um, uh, in the cradle to get the signal. And this is the unit that broadcasts that. Okay, so clearly this is power and also goes to the antenna and the antenna is on the front of the rig. We'll take a look at that. All right, now let's uh, install this in the rig and see what it can do. Okay, now unfortunately, um, WeBoost only comes with a cigarette lighter adapter. And, and WeBoost, that's not how we roll. We wanna do a permanent hard mount in our vehicle and not use the cigarette lighter adapter. So in a future version, that's an improvement I'd make is provide people an option, a different uh, pigtail or something that allows them to do a permanent installation. All right, let's get this wired up. All right, now I have this, this space right in front of the four low gear selector that doesn't have anything on it. One of the few things in my vehicles that's like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I'm, I'm cleaning the back of the antenna and the truck with a little bit of alcohol before I put on the, the Velcro strip there, just so it sticks well, goodly. And it says, mount, it says mounting side. Even I can figure out that. Okay, mounting side, put that there. Now this antenna needs to be 18 inches to 36 inches to the cellular device that is going to utilize the signal. And that's right in range with this area. There we go. And because of where this is, it allows me to tuck the wire out of sight. So I can do a nice clean install of the antenna. Okay, and the installation of the the power adapter is you know like i said it's not a hard mount so it's easy but inherently sloppy not ideal All right, now I, I spared you guys all the detail of routing all those wires. A couple of, a couple of notes about the installation. Your exterior antenna has to be um, far enough away from your interior antenna that you don't create a feedback loop. So if you do have trouble, it's got an indicator light. If it turns red, you're getting feedback. You got to reposition the interior or the exterior antenna. But that's it. Uh, it's, all, it's all routed. I think I did a pretty good job um, given 
I'm out in the woods and not uh, at home in the garage. And I put my antenna right in the center of my hood because it, it needs a, a large flat area of uh, metal, a large plane of metal. And I've got a roof rack on this rig, so it's not a large flat plane like most vehicles. So I just put it right on the hood and I'll have to figure out the wiring and the routing of everything uh, when I get back home to base camp. All right, let's turn this thing on and watch the bars just come rolling in. All right, now that was a little bit of a setup. The point there is if there is zero service like this, you're not going to get a signal with a cell booster. There has to be some trace signal in order for that signal to be boosted. And the best case scenario that I've experienced is going from zero reception to LTE. That blew my mind, but clearly there was a signal my phone antenna wasn't able to pick it up and the booster really helped. Normally you get maybe one or two bars and we've been in areas where pre previously we've had no signal and then we, we have signal in that area. So it's really helped us out a lot. If you're on the road, if you're going in spotty reception areas and you need a signal for whatever reason, then we do recommend getting a cell booster. All right, you guys. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, outfit, explore, I'll see you on the track.